Hello everybody, I'm Duke James, and this is a continuation of my Muscovy campaign in EU4, Mew, and Texas. So I'm probably just going to take ducats from this deal. From this war. Let's see. War reps. And as many ducats. I think I'm going to stay in... I'm probably going to fight these rebels with my levy troops. So I'm going to move everybody down there. Looks like Danzig is going to be lost. I have the war... Oh, okay, they pieced the Titanic Order out. Hmm. Interesting. They, um... They didn't actually lose a single territory, so... It's weird. Very weird. I think I'm... Actually, then, I'll just release Mishar then. And then have them convert to Orthodox, and then I'll feed them territories. And then once I get sufficiently strong enough, then I will... Start taking Tuni land for myself. And I'm not gonna... I can take this province, but it's Catholic. So I don't want to have Catholic rebels up here and Sunni rebels down here. So I'm just gonna take ducats. They no longer... Really. I'm losing 18 ducats. That's fine. I'll just accept. It's probably because of the uh, relative strength of alliance changed. So, uh... Yeah, let's just... Let's go ahead and take that. Royal marriage with Sweden. I mean, I have slots. They have an heir, though, so... No. And then... Let's disable this. Great Perm wants an alliance. No. No thank you, Great Perm. I deforested this province. Is it that province? They're telling me a different province. I don't remember deforesting this province. Eh, well, Moscow will uh, get some more food to grow quicker, and Uglich gets Monastic Town. Alright.
Alright. Mishar. You can exist. They follow the Sunni faith for now. Oh, I like that color. It's a nice color. Let's improve relations with them. Truce with Vorobtinsk ends two years. So take care of them. That will be the last of the first three missions. And then uh, I just have to fight Novgorod. Then I can form Russia. And then I'll fight Great Perm before, right before I form Russia. So I get those free cores. Fortunately, I'm not building much of a spy network on them. It's just going down. My taxation is positive. What is this? 11 ducats? Oh, okay. Sweden. Sweden's war reps are messed up. I was like, 11 ducats? Wow. I'm rich. Yay! Nope, just war reps messing up. And now I'm poor. Boo. If I could discover Western Siberia, I could probably collect a ducat over there. And apparently it's not in range. That is far. 668, so that idea is squashed, actually. I'm not in range for any of these. I could probably make a decent amount of money in the south. South Baltic, if I could get there. War of the Roses in England. Let's uh, improve with the TO. Castile has conquered North Africa. The tip. The Ottomans are still fighting their civil war. Crimea is fighting Georgia and losing. Defender against Georgia and the Georgian reconquest of Dao. I imagine it's. They're fighting. They're probably fighting Ak. Yeah, they're fighting Akianlu, and Crimea was called in. Too bad I can't fight Akianlu for uh, Crimean provinces. They're way too far away. Here we go. This is what I was thinking. Mishar Faith. Since they didn't exist at the start of the game, I can release them and uh, choose their faith. They do gain 20% liberty desire, which will put them over. If 
I can get it below 50%, I can do a royal marriage. Easiest thing to do would be placate them. There we go, okay. Perfect. Come on, take the royal marriage. There we go. Excellence. See if I fight, Crimea, Akianlu wouldn't join, but uh, Transoxiana would. How many troops do they have anyway? They have 16,000 troops. They are at war, so that's probably why, but uh, it's a lot of troops. So I'm not going to take any rivals yet, but I will try and get my vassal to make claims on those provinces. Let's go ahead and reduce maintenance. There's some rebels over here. And they'll rise up in what, five years? Seven years, so I don't really have to worry about them now. Let's reduce maintenance. Try and get some ducats. Drop this fort for now. Hey Crimea, do you wanna Do you want my troops? Not for free, no way. Can't afford the upfront costs. Attitude towards enemies, war balance looks good, not the same religious group, budget surplus. Does anybody else have a war? Hungary still has a coalition. Hungary, you dummy. This looks like a relatively peaceful time in Europe. There's the Castilian conquest of Arif, 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 Georgian at war, Persian reconquest, and then some war in China. There's only four wars going on. Let's reduce maintenance all the way. Unhappiness among the clergy. I could lose 5 church influence and gain 5 prestige, or gain 5 church influence and lose 5 prestige. Gee, I wonder which one I'm going with. There's only one. There's one option there. Alright, I can revoke privileges, so I might as well start with the burgers. Try and revoke these. Might as well just re revoke everything. Yeah, 
Eventually, I will revoke everything. But uh, let's do moderate expansion. I shouldn't lose stability because they're so weak. Hopefully, it's just like one twenty-five percent chance at most. Fifty percent chance. I jinxed myself. Six percent. See, that seems totally out of whack. Six percent influence in the country, and I lose a stability point. That's whack. I also have no more uh, Cossack tribe estate. They weren't doing much anyway. I will get one once I conquer the rest of these provinces down here. It'll be pretty powerful. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? Yeah, I'll get a stability point. I'll get that point back. Just sucks to lose it to the burgers. see I think I'm going to build and build a marketplace or should I Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to continue building in Moscow. And then once that... Uh, once this is built up sufficiently enough, then I'll, then I'll go elsewhere. I think all money should go to Moscow for now. Fourteen oh four. Ninety seven. They haven't allied anybody else. This should be rather quick, a rather quick war against Novgorod. I can't imagine they have more than one or two thousand troops. They have 1,000 troops, force limit 2. They have one fort here, which currently is not... It's mothballed, and then they have a one fort level here. That's that's it in their entire country, so... Should be a rather quick war. I can bring this down as well, actually. I'm not sure I actually even need this fort. I think I'll leave it for now, just because it would cost a significant amount of my money to get that back. There's that stability point. Alright, I am going to end this part here, and I will probably play it along until I get a claim on this province, and then I will take that province and resume from there. I will resume from there and then take the province. So, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.